What's up everyone? Thank you so much for watching this video. Today I'm going to talk about automatic pens. And if you don't know what auto automatic pens are, I'm going to talk to you about them. So, these automatic pens, they are, from what I learned, that they are controlled by... Let's go to the next clip get a closer look at them. And All right, so here is a closer look at the automatic pens that I have. This is a 4A automatic pen. Make sure the lighting is good so you can actually see it. 4A, the nib is not split, it's solid. Very, very good for broad edge. Hold on, let me fix the tripod. 4A, and when you receive these, they come with a protective coating. So all you gotta do is just wash it off with soap and warm water. And then here is the five line automatic pen. I've had, I've had this one longer than this one. I just got this one recently. And the quality of them, very good plastic steel nibs when I had received this one I had to you know fix it and get it to work right because it was my first time using this one compared to this one last night when I was streaming on Periscope make sure to follow me on Twitter all the social media if you're not doing so same name is here Joe Sanduli and it's going to take some time for me to get better with this one but anyways this video is not about that it's about automatic pens so once you receive your automatic pen you will have some instructions inside on how to use it copyright 2000 automatic lettering pen company design I'll admit, when I first learned about automatic pens, they were a bit difficult because I was so used to my parallel pens and how the ink flowed with them. Because it's so much easier. All you gotta do is put your cartridge in and then get to writing. Let's get into the first one I'm gonna use. Open up the ink slowly. Sit it down. All right, the first one I'm going to use is the five line automatic pen. You just dip the nib in, and you could see right here in the slot, it holds the ink. I'm not sure how good you can see that. And the more pressure you put on the nib, the more ink that is going to flow. So I'll just do a straight line. As you see right now, it's not flowing correctly. This is automatic pens take practice. It's not something that you'll get right away. So as you see here, started off, only got three lines, applied more pressure, got four, applied more pressure, still got four, and then when I put it out, put the pin down all the way and applied even more pressure, I got five. And the automatic pins, they will keep going until the ink inside that you have sto that's stored in there is completely gone. So once again, now let's do some letters.
These are very beautiful pens. I definitely recommend you having some scrap paper beside a piece you're working on so you would not mess up the one that you are either doing for a client or for practice because we definitely encounter some of the problems that you see that I have had happen here. So see, this right here is a great example. Look how beautiful that is. If you really get into it. So that was the five line automatic pen. We make sure all the ink is out of the nib. I gotta make sure I clean it after. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you have not done so yet. Right now we are doing the 4A automatic pen using Moon Palace ink from John Neal Bookseller. And it's the same process as the five line automatic pen you just dip the nib in I have not had much practice using this one using the 4a automatic pen since I've just recently got it like I'd say when did I get it I think last Saturday or no I got it on Monday on Monday and oh my god look at that look at the line nice and solid very very different from the five line you just have to apply not much pressure at all and as you can see the ink is running pretty low it takes a bit of practice to get used to using automatic pens whoops almost cut through the paper there all right let's see how this would turn out the last night i was streaming on periscope trying to use this for a automatic pen for the first time and I did not really know what I was getting my self into so these pens are good for broad edge calligraphy and it takes some practice to get used to them you want to be mindful of when you notice how your letters are with the darkness and etc and the ink that I'm using is Moon Palace from John Neal Bookseller you could use a variety of inks I've used Echo Line brand ink water, well, watercolor ink all of them will work and quick recap, I always want to be wary of, do you see no ink is flowing? You could flip it around, no ink is flowing, which means the, like we're learning together with this pen because I have never, I have not got much in, I have not used it a lot. So quick recap, let's see if it works this time. You want to be paying close attention to the pressure. As you see right here, until the nib was filled with ink, then it slowly started to run out. Always have a scrap piece of paper beside the piece you're working on. And that was a review of the five line automatic five line automatic pen and the 4A automatic pen. Thanks so much for watching.
don't forget to leave a comment down below let me know what you thought of the video and don't forget to subscribe and follow me on all social media catch you later thanks so much for watching